In this video, I'm testing out all of the Gemini AI features on the Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra that are built in, all the way from video, screen sharing, to obviously the voice stuff. How useful is this in your day-to-day -day life? Watch this to find out. Oh, and some of these features you might not even know were possible with Gemini. Starting off with obviously the most basic way of using Gemini, which would be using your voice commands. And I think pretty much everyone of you knows how to use that. But if you don't, let me just quickly show you how to use it. With the S25 Ultra, it's pretty straightforward. Press and hold on the power button and it activates Gemini. Hey Gemini, is winter cooler in a humid country or is it cooler in a dry country? Generally, a dry country will experience cooler overnight winter temperatures than a humid country. That was quick, easy. And if I want more information, obviously, Whoa! Now, if you didn't know, there's two other ways to use Google Gemini. One would be with the video feature, where it actually turns on the camera, looks at everything you're shooting, gives context based on that, and then you can ask questions and build on those questions, like a normal conversation with a person, and it'll answer all of your questions based on what it's looking at. That is pretty dope. Okay, say I'm in a situation here where I have two types of coffee, and I wanna pick which is the right one for me without actually going through the research. I can actually use Gemini to do that. So if I open up my phone wherever I am, press and hold here on the power button, tap on here, you get the video option. So I've got two different types of coffee here in front of me. Which one is a better fit for me if I like a fruitier taste? The Union Blend is described as having notes of blackberries, dark chocolate, and brown sugar aftertaste. If you're looking for something fruity, that sounds like the better option. There you go. So now I don't need to think or ask the stuff. I can just anti-social my way through this. Now we are at a carpet store and I kind of want to know how, how big this carpet is. So I'm going to ask Gemini to just look at it and then tell me the size of the carpet. I don't know how accurate this is, but let's try it out. How big is this carpet? That carpet looks to be about five by eight feet. Is that the size you're looking for? That's pretty neat, but let's ask the guy if that's accurate. Assalamu alaikum, how is carpet? Five by eight. Five by eight. Pretty accurate. Okay, so let's say you're traveling and you want to know what the ingredients in a cake are. So I've got some displays here and I can use Gemini's video feature again to figure out what the recipe is just by pointing my camera at it and having a conversation. Let's try it out. I've got a raspberry white cake in front of me. What are the typical ingredients within the one you're looking at right now? A raspberry white cake typically has a white cake base, which is usually made with flour, sugar, eggs, butter, and milk. Then there's a layer of raspberry filling or preserves, and it's all topped off with a white frosting like buttercream or whipped cream. The one in the photo looks like it has some extra raspberry drizzle on top too. Are you thinking of baking one or just curious about the recipe? Well, no, I was curious about the recipe, but what about this cake? So this is the black forest cake. What are the ingredients on this? Okay, a black forest cake has a base of chocolate cake and it's traditionally layered with whipped cream and cherries. You'll often find it decorated with chocolate shavings like the one in front of you. Oh, sick. So now I know both ingredients and I can just pick which one I like and I know now there's no nuts in there. So if I'm allergic to nuts, I wouldn't have to worry. Pretty sick. And the last one is the screen reading thing. So this essentially will read your screen, your share screen with Gemini and look at context on your screen and similar to the video, based on whatever context it's looking at, it'll give you the answers that you're looking for. Can you give me a summary of all the comments in this comment section for the video that I've published? I just wanna know what everyone is discussing in the section. Okay, I can help you with that. It looks like the main topics of discussion are about camera quality with comparisons to other phones, like the iPhone 16 Pro Max and other Samsung models. There's also some talk about video recording, particularly regarding HDR and codecs. Okay, so those are just some examples that you can do when you're just doing live. However, I kind of want to show you how the Samsung app integration can actually help with work. And honestly, it's been super helpful. So let's say you're just researching for a video or an article. You can quickly ask Gemini something like this. Hey Gemini, can you search all the latest AI trends in smartphones? The latest AI trends in smartphones center around the deep integration of generative AI directly into devices. Okay, cool. So everything that you just said to me, can you save that in Samsung Notes? I've saved the information about the latest AI trends in smartphones to your Samsung Notes. So it pulls up a pretty solid answer and it's honestly so perfect that you don't have to copy and paste. It saves directly into your Samsung Notes. Okay, so say you have a meeting or planning for a shoot. You can easily say to Gemini, Hey Gemini, like I have a meeting on the 28th of July at TRX Exchange. Could you check the traffic and weather for me? I can check the traffic and weather for your meeting on July 28th at TRX Exchange. What time is your meeting? My meeting is at 10am. Could you also please add that to my calendar? 
Your meeting at TRX Exchange on July 28th at 10 a.m. has been added to your calendar. For July 28th, the weather at TRX Exchange is expected to be 89 degrees Fahrenheit. It might sound pretty simple, but the way that it has made my workflow so seamless, honestly, it's pretty impressive. And it especially works best for people who are wearing Penbillion hats at work. Anyway, back to Umar. Okay, bye. All right, so there you have it. Three of the most popular ways of using Google Gemini that you may or may not have known about. If you knew all of these, let us know down in the comments. Of these other ways to use it that we didn't mention, let us know that down in the comments as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Can't wait to see what else we get with Google Gemini in the upcoming future. But thank you guys for watching. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.